Look who else has dropped in to help Daniel and I cook. It's Lisa, it's Daniel's mom. So we're going to be cooking corn skillet cakes. Did you have them for breakfast on Sunday? You can have breakfast any, any time. But anyway, Daniel, we're going to start with the dry ingredients. So what are we putting in there? We're going to put in some baking powder. We're going to do two teaspoons. Excellent job. One more of those. Yep. Two you might want to use two <laughs> hands for that. Well, that's just a half. There you go. Go ahead. And we're going to rake it over so it's just right. Dump that in there. Give it a good shake. We have a whole cup of our whole grain uh, white wheat flour. So just pick up the cup and dump it in. Yeah. Excellent job. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of sugar. You could do a Splenda blend if you wanted to or do Splenda instead of that sugar is going to go a long way, so we're going to end up not getting very much of it for our cakes. So that's not very much sugar. And then look, I'm just going to mix that all together. Now, Daniel, you're going to step over here because we've got to put our wet ingredients over here. Okay? So in our wet ingredients, we're going to put in our cup of skim milk. So go ahead and pour that in. Good job. And then we've got uh, our egg beaters, a couple of tablespoons there to give her egg equivalent. It's going to keep the cholesterol out and the fat down a little bit there. Good job. We are going to add two tablespoons, I'm going to pour this tablespoon right here, hold that, of oil. Okay, and I'm using uh, some Smart Balance oil, which is heart healthy with some omega-3 fatty acids in it which I'm sure you talk about with your friends all the time, don't you? Do you talk about those omegas with your friends? You don't? I can't believe it. Okay, so that's going in there. And then we're going to whisk that. Let's see if, you can, let's see if you're a whisker. Can you do your little, there you go, blending it all together. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. And now I'm going to add some frozen corn. How about that? That's pretty easy. You could do fresh, but that's about one and one-third cup of the corn. Great job. And Dan, you know what we didn't add when we made our um, marinara sauce? We didn't add the dry white wine. But we thought since it's Sunday and you're underage, we would wait and add that later. But that does, but the alcohol does cook out. That's the good news. All right, now we're going to mix these together. Okay, so I'm going to give you a big spoon and you're going to mix it. That is so easy. So here you go. Just mix it a little bit. And it comes out looking like this. So just to save some time, Daniel, we're going to let you take that home with you to make at home. And we put this in a hot uh, skillet. I'm using a cast iron skillet, which adds a little iron, which is a little health benefit. But we, we sprayed that down pretty well with pan spray and added a little oil. And Daniel, this is what those griddle cakes are going to come out like. And they're only, what, 40 calories a piece for the, these? And they are yumbo awesome. You're going to get to taste some in just a few minutes. Okay. Make them the size that we want. We're going to just do, let's get two out of this, Daniel. And when it starts bubbling, we are going to flip it. And one thing you're going to learn is that you can't leave batter on there because if you do, it's going to get sticky. No, that's okay. Flip it. Flip it. Oh! Good job, good job. Let's just get this out of the way. That was actually very well done. I am very impressed by that. Mmm, 